Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Back at No Man's Sky because I am still addicted. Yep, that's that's where we're at. We've got 105 friggin' hours on this save so far. That's, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But, but, I'm here to do some stuff today. Um, apparently we have no... Yeah, that's fine. Um, how much do we have battery Oh, right! Battery power. I don't have battery power, but I have other power. Oh yeah, other power. So, the solars are on the roof. Um, turns out you don't have to do that. I did test them inside on a different planet, and they work just fine inside. Not entirely sure how, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, but, I've got this power cable going out this way. Going out this way. Going out this way. Ow, whoa. And I have one of these installed. Electromagnetic generator. Um, I was playing around. I had a quest to find a uh, power node, power location, whatever. Uh, so I did. And I put this down. And turns out that didn't complete the quest. There's a bug with that quest. Uh, the quest says find a power node and you actually need to find a gas node. So I ended up, I ended up finding that out at some point or another, but it's fine. And not a remarkable power spot, but it's enough to keep everything running. I'm only using 67 and it pro provides more than double that. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of these just because it's there. All right, so that's that. That's one of the new additions. The other new addition is this lovely landing pad. I had a questy thing that said build it, so I built it. And I got a new ship. But I'll cover that later because it's dark and you can't see shit. So one of the things I want to do, actually, is right here. I have um, another one of the base computer archives missions. I actually had been doing these off stream because it was mostly just read a really confusing piece of text and then wait for an hour and a half or two hours and then read another confusing piece of text. So I chose to not do that, and instead, um, stream, cooperate. Um, so instead, um, I was just doing it off stream and you know let it let it do its thing. And then I read one, and it was a different. So I got I got as far as reading that it was different. So I haven't actually read the damn thing. So let's do that. Let's read the damn thing. Archive for user iteration lost, unavailable. Possible remote terminus backup available. Download coordinates. Sure. Sure. Um, so that's that's literally as far as I read because I didn't know what the hell it was. I didn't want to do anything off stream. That was too remarkably different. So apparently, we got to go elsewhere. Um, and it's off, off world, and apparently. Um, not in the system, I guess. Which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, I have to go find that, wherever that may be. You may have noticed I also have this. Uh, I received a random communication. It, it just I was flying out in space, random communication, and um, it said something about water. It wasn't really very clear, but it's called Dreams of the Deep, Lost Beneath the Waves, and I'm supposed to find a signal. I can't find the signal, so that might be a thing that we have to work for. Um, I think if I have this selected, I can go out into space and just follow the, the lines. Guys, come on. No having sex over here. <sighs> naughty, naughty exocraft. All right, um, so I don't really know which one to do first. This can go here. I have a full inventory, by the by. My inventory is pretty goddamn full. Uh, and that's that's my own fault. I have been... Mm, part of the 100, 105 hours has been uh, just exploring random systems and collecting everything I can possibly find on the way. So that's what I've been doing. 
Um, you uh, just gonna have me go on a heist. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Talk to him. He gave me another uh, random plant thing. It's all fine. So let's go out into space, and we'll maybe get to see my new ship. There we go. Out in space. So this is my new ship. I think it's mighty sexy. Um, I'm not normally a fan of yellow. That is a very yellow color. You can't really see it at the moment. Um, but with the um, the red highlights and the there's a couple blue bits as well. I think it's pretty snazzy. Plus, I like the long nose, um, the wider stance. I like the curved wings. Um, I primarily found this by accident. I knew I was looking for this body type, uh, the body type with the extra wider bits on the sides there, uh, because that is a fighter that has slightly less maneuverability, um, but drastically higher slots to work with. Um, it's upwards of 50, I think, total, uh, whereas a max size hauler is like 54, um, and a normal fighter is in the neighborhood of 30, I think, tops. I'm being poked. Why am I being poked, Paige? Oh God. Hello. Did you did you try to say anything other than poking, or was that your entrance? Oh hi. So welcome to my new ship. This, this is my this is my new ship. I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, okay, so now, so let's go check this signal out. Um, this isn't the current mission, is it? Orbital station, Orbital station coordinates received. You say that way. Hmm. All right. So uh, I think it's this. It did. I think it's this one right here that I need to go to. So let's go to that one. Go on that way. It looks like a ship. Yes, it does. That is correct. It has just about all of the stats I could possibly want in a ship. Um, the only thing that's missing is its A-class instead of S-class, which is easily fixed if I want to spend the night. Like, oh, we have a freighter battle. Okay. Where are you guys? There you are. Alright, I need to find more guys to shoot. Is this a freighter I want, and or is this a freighter I can afford? It's not bad, it's a short stubby one. Not a huge fan of the short stubby ones. Ow, bounced off him. Uh, oh, hey, being shot at. Hey, being shot at. Stop shooting at me, sir. Sir, I have a word with you. Uh, oh, um, other side, I think. Nope, can't, can't shoot at it. Nope, 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 nope. Apparently if you shoot at the freighter while you're um, mid-combat, it doesn't go well for you. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. You found Platinum and Spengies, nice. Good luck harvesting it. Platinum has an incredibly low return. 
Alright, so he is inviting us on board. Let me get a closer, or a, a further shot on this thing so I can see what it actually looks like. Yeah, that's a short, stubby one. It's, it's a wide-bodied freighter. I really like the idea of the wide-bodied freighter, just because it's kind of Star Destroyer-ish. Um, but this one is about half the length of the possible. Not a huge fan of this. It's a, it's a little... It's a little... stumpy. It's a big wing. It is. Right, but we'll go inside, we'll say hi, and then... Uh, I wasn't expecting this freighter battle, actually. Alright, what do you guys? You are an A class, and you're a C class. Meh. Both of I mean, that one's kind of a neat design right there. Two more of the exact same design. Oh, you're kind of neat. You're a C-class. You're kind of neat. That's six freighters that just docked in here. Three of that design. Interesting. Huh. Neat. Any spleen, friend. Okay, so this freighter is... I mean, it's neat. I like the all-blackness of it. It's only C-class, though, so that's a hard pass right there. If we compare it to my current one... I'm pretty sure my current one is bigger than this. But it's got more slots and, you know, whatever. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. It's fine. Request payment instead. So whenever you request payment from these guys, you get about 300 something chromatic metal. It's a really garbage payment. It's like 100,000, maybe. So, you know. I could either get a severe discount on their freighter for saving them, saving me potentially millions upon millions, or 100,000 in cash. Gold is a necessity. Um, I, I thought that there was a way... I thought that there was a way to, like, do a broader range scan for asteroids, but I may be remembering mods. Because I don't play the game without mods. So, I don't think I'll be able to help you. Oh, hi, random freighters. Carplimo. Alright, uh, so I do believe... Dreams of Deep... No, this is not Dreams of Deep. We're doing base computer archives. Uh, located on an off-world planet. Located... It... I, the icon was around here somewhere. Ah! Located on that one. Okay, gotcha. Right, so first things first. I have decided I'm always going to make it a habit to go to the space station first, because I have confirmed that if you don't visit the space station, you can't warp to the space station. So if I visit a system and don't and, and want to be able to come back to it later, I have to go to the space station. First time I've docked, and there have been other ships here. This is weird. It's weird. Alright, so we've got A, C, B. So this is one of the many other possible designs 
featuring the uh, the larger side compartments. Um, and this fighter, this fighter is kind of neat looking. It's kind of neat looking, but I definitely prefer mine. This one's all right too, but that one doesn't have the side compartments. Of the ones with the side compartments, I like the idea of the longer nose, just to give it more of a sleek fighter look. Because if it had something like that nose, that um, scooped front, it would have ended like right here, and it would have been very blunt, and it would have looked kind of weird. Oh yeah, the space stations in there are always interesting shapes. Ah, also, I have maxed out my suit. I went through the effort of maxing out my suit, um, because it, I needed all the cargo space I possibly could. So, my suit's maxed out. Um, I have, I have actually done a lot in this game, and there is surprisingly a lot left. I've got a hundred and something hours in it, um, my milestones are almost completely maxed out. I just need to do extreme survival and a bunch of warping. Beyond that, I'm done. I'm done with all of the the uh, milestones. Um, I've maxed out my standing with the Gek. I haven't done very many missions and whatnot, so I still have plenty to do here. Same with the Viking and the Corvax. And I've done very little with the guilds so far. And I'm pretty sure there's still a ton to do story-wise. So even though... Even though I've got 100 something hours in here, I suspect I've got easily another 100 plus hours to go. Okay, I'm gonna get over this guy. Uh, that means I also need to ignore that guy, but this guy has a mission for me. The air around this beaked life form smells foul. It seeps in my, into my exoscoot and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the trader pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces and swallow each whole. Friend despair! Gek trader makes bad scent. Watch! Gek eat metal elements and joyful scent! There's a deep gurgle and the Gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. So you give them metal. And he's happy, 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 because he can make bad stink turn good stink. <laughs> so, you're just now asking about this game being a disappointment when it comes out? Yes. Um, this game was a massive disappointment. One of the reasons it was a massive disappointment is um, they... They hyped up multiplayer, and then when the game came out, there was no multiplayer. Like, up until, like, launch day, they were doing interviews saying, this has multiplayer, it'll be amazing. And then it launched, and there was no multiplayer. And people were pissed, because the dude outright lied about it. Um, and then he later went on to clarify that multiplayer was possible but it was nearly impossible to ever find another player so you could potentially run into another player out in the wild but it was probably never going to happen so even though he hyped up multiplayer being awesome and amazing and uh, a feature that'll be available to everyone he then later said it's probably never going to fucking happen but people were still persistent and they found a way to get to the same planet. Two, two players, I think they were, you know, a streamer and his buddy or something like that. Um, they found a way to get to the exact same planet and did, um, like, literal navigation by starlight to figure out how to get to the same position on the same planet so that they could find each other. Because these planets are fucking huge. Chances are, walking, you're never going to find the same person. But they found the same, they found um, the same location on the planet only to find out that they couldn't see each other. There was no multiplayer. At all. In any form whatsoever. Um, so people were really pissed. Um, and this game got really like serious flack for that. And then on top of that, the single player story mode, there was, there's one storyline to follow. 
And once you follow that storyline, the game basically reset itself. And you were basically just in free roam mode and you were meant to follow the same the same story over and over again. So there was there wasn't much story to speak of and it was kinda of pointless. Um, the the creature variety was pretty slim. The plant variety was pretty slim. Um, it wasn't really slim. There was it, it's basically the same problem that I've got currently. Where there is a lot of variety, but once you've seen a lot of the patterns. They just repeat themselves, and yes, you've got two different creatures that are technically different, but, you know, it's straight horns versus curled horns, and everything else is the same, or a different skin pattern on the same body, that kind of thing. And I'm still seeing that now. It's a much wider variety now than it was before, so they've definitely added to that, but it's still the same problem. It's still randomly generated using a set number of parts. Um, so that is still an issue, but not it's not a major issue, because there's a lot of variety now. Um, but yeah, there was just it was just kind of a, a letdown of a game. I can't actually do anything in this room yet, so I'm going to walk away. It was just a real letdown of a game. Now, granted, I played for almost 20 hours when it first came out. I went through the story twice. It's, it's hard to say it without spoiling it, because I'm pretty sure that still exists now. Um, but I went through the story twice in the same playthrough in 20 hours. So, you know, not very not very difficult, not very time-consuming. And I did a lot of exploration, but it was still... There, there wasn't all that terribly much to do. Yes. Um, so the story, and I think the story still exists now. But the bottom line is um, the mission that we don't have, it's not visible here, but when you go out into the galaxy map and you have the option to see to galaxy center, um, that was the main mission when the game first came out. The main mission was to follow the Atlas path, which took you to the galaxy center. And once you reach the galaxy center, you go through the black hole at the center of the galaxy and you're teleported to a new galaxy, which is technically a new galaxy, but functionally identical to your existing galaxy. And you start off at the outer rim, and you have to work your way to the center of the galaxy again. And that's the entire storyline, is you get to the center of the galaxy, teleported to a new galaxy to explore, and get to the center of the galaxy to teleport to a new galaxy and explore, etc. Um, so that was the entirety of the game when it first came out. And people were really disappointed by that because you get to this whole build-up, you know, 10-ish hours or so to get to the center of the galaxy. And you get to the teleportation point and you just teleport to a new galaxy and the game basically starts over. You keep all your stuff, you keep your ship, you lose all access to uh, systems that you had visited previously. But that didn't matter because the way the game was built accessing your systems that you had access to previously was pointless and difficult. There was no teleportation, there was no base building, there was no purpose really in visiting previous systems, because once you've explored it, you're done. Oops. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I just hired a new guy. Alright, well he's my new, uh, he's my new farmer. <laughs> Howdy kinder. Welcome. But yeah, there was just a lot missing from the game that was hyped up, and it was very disappointing. But, in all fairness, they have gone above and beyond to correct that. They've added proper multiplayer, they've added tons of extra questing, they've added base building, um, they've added freighters with, with mobile base building, um, they've drastically expanded on the variety of creatures and plants and all that stuff. Um, they've added the Corrupted Worlds, which is a whole new thing. They've added farming. I, I mean, they've, they've added a ton of stuff. And it's it's they haven't really rebounded from it, unfortunately. They still have a player base, but they, they lost their initial hype, and they're never going to get that back. But, yes, I mean, they absolutely went out of their way to cor correct the problem, and then some. And they've made a quite a quite a great game out of the deal. 
it's just unfortunate that they're they're never gonna quite have the same hype that they had before. I'm just collecting words. All of these races are now um, to the point where I only have mystery symbol as an option, but it doesn't ever seem to run out. So maybe I just keep getting words from them this way. Maybe maybe this is a thing I can do. As long as they keep letting me get words, I'm happy with it. Um, I think I'm done talking to people at the moment. Let me check the market again. I'm not done talking to people. Here's people. I wasn't trying to talk to you, sir. So I think I'm gonna do a quick run through of the planets. I'm gonna, unless there's something remarkable that I find, I'm just gonna land on each one of them, do a couple scans, and then leave, just so that we don't sit here doing this forever. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the big center one for now. Assuming I can find another planet. There's another planet. Hey, planet. to help you with RPG stuff? What, what, wait, a new book to help you with RPG stuff? Like, how to overcome your addiction, or? <laughs> I, I don't know what book could help you with your RPG stuff. How to write adventure modules that don't suck. I see. Hello, T-Rex with glowy things on your back. Hi. Hang on. Uh, light. T-Rex with glowy things on your back. And, and yes, I did. I did see the Firefly reference when you when you came in. I just didn't comment on it. Okay, scanny's happened. We'll go in here. Get the thingy. Here, there's no thingy to get. Uh, scanny thing. And then get the thingies. So, one thing I found about these things is that little front panel that opens up that is where the stuff is if you are standing behind it and you open it you'll get the nanites but you won't get the loot inside and I didn't know that because no other box in this entire fucking game works like that so I only noticed that when I walked around it one time and I noticed E to loot and I got like an S-class mod out of it. So I don't know how much I may or may not have missed by not being in the front of them when I have opened them, but I have definitely made it a point to change that habit. 
That's the silliest thing. You shouldn't have to stand in a specific location to get the loot out of a box when you open it, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, I think I'm done scanning as much as I care to at the moment. So we're gonna we're gonna jet. We're gonna jet to that planet, because it's in the way. High radio source planet. Alright. I'm assuming high radio source is referring to the uh, the fact that it's a radioactive planet. Just got a lot of tunes. Someone's uh pumping out the jam on this planet. By the way, I was waiting for people to show up. I've got the Twinticle Kitty merch shirt. I have the shirt. It's available on the merch store. This is the logo designed by Demos. It is up on the merch store right now, if you at all care to uh, partake. My mug is in the mail. There are also, uh, there's a woman's shirt, which I can't really model at the moment. <laughs> and there is a hoodie, well there, there was a hoodie, I took it down briefly so I could look at it a little bit closer. Want to make sure of the quality on that, but yeah, it's 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 twin merch. I never thought that would actually happen, but I have twin merch. Twerch, yes, twerch. It sounds a little bit too close to twerk, and I don't approve. Hey guys, units received. Alright, so we have a buried module thingy here. <laughs> it's, it's, um, exclamation merch is the command the command for that. I probably should expand out to more uh, code words. I, I also like the sell me stuff. I, li I like that one. Oh, you're gonna wait for the hoodie? Okay. I mean, I could I could put the hoodie back up if you want it. Um, let me here. Yeah. I have the hoodie. Yeah. I'm having a hard time grabbing the hoodie. Give me the hoodie. There we go. This is the hoodie. It's got a hood. It's a hoodie. Um, I will say that um, the hoodie size. They don't have um, the black XL in stock. And I know many gamers are XL, if not more. So a uh, little bit little bit surprised that that's... Well, actually, I'm not surprised that that's out of stock since a lot of gamers are XL. But, you know, whatever. Wear the hoodie and the shirt. <laughs> I know, right? There's no black XL. Hi, Scooby. Scooby, in case you're wondering... I've got the shirt. I've got the shirt on. And since you may be interested in this, this is the the woman's shirt. 
it's actually fairly transparent-ish, which worries me ever so slightly. Just putting that thought out there. Um, it's uh, it's American Apparel, so it's you know decent brand. But yeah, Twinkle Kitty merch shirt. <laughs> yes, you're welcome to the the lady shirt since you are the only the only female that I know in the entire state, actually, besides my mom. <laughs> just 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 because you are a tall skinny guy some clothes are, you on, are baggy on you I, I do know other females in the state it's just been over a year since I have seen any of them hey buried cash I'll take it All right, am I done scanning things here? I think I'm done scanning things here. I'm not done scanning things here, apparently. There's a thing over there. Kind of want it. It's close enough. Might as well. Kinder wants to see the shirt again. That's the uh, the Twinkle Kitty logo. That is partly because I have crap light at the moment. Here, let me uh, let me let me light up a little bit better. Eh. Okay, that light's not helping at all. It's just changing. My webcam is kind of garbage, by the way. It is um, purple with teal. It is it is more purple in person. Yes. It's it's um it's very purple, but it's a deep purple, kind of leaning a little bit towards blue. But yeah, it's it's definitely purple. And the the part that I'm concerned about, and the reason I took the hoodie down, was uh, the hoodie is a lot more lighter in purple. It's a little bit more leaning towards the red, so the print came out a little bit different. So it's a it's a different it's a different shade as you can probably tell, like so. Very different shade. Still still good, just a different shade. So it's I'm, I'm curious about the the print difference there. Oh God, the light bright. Ah. Okay. Enough of this place trying to kill me. Okay. I'm out. Once, once Demos shows up, I will uh, be sure to show again. If and when Demo shows up, I suppose. Okay, uh, planets. Planets. I have two moons around the boiling planet I was just at. Uh, we have a ring planet. 
ring planet. Two moons. Okay. Ah, the ring planet is the one that's next to the space station. So this is the one I'll visit next. But yeah, it's it's such a weird feeling to have merch. Like that's and I never I never thought that that would be a thing I would do. seconds to go. Some of these planets just feel like they're really friggin' far away. I mean, it's a friggin' solar system, so you know, whatever. The Steam Network has 2,000 reports of issues right now? Do we know what parts are affected? Like the store, the multiplayer connectivity, the downloading... We have we have a thing. We have a thing here. Oh wow, there's a lot of shit here. Alright. That one. I saw four different things to visit, so we might be uh we might be visiting some things here. Alright, so this I think is here. Let's um Also, what, what gives? I'm having performance issues. That's not something I normally have in this game. <laughs> There's tons of shit here. That is correct, Demos. Also, Demos. Demos. Buddy, old pal. The shirt. The shirt is here. The shirt. The shirt. Whee. Yes, this is a thingy to break into. There you go. No, don't shoot at me. I don't approve. Why are you shooting at the door? Why are you... Whatever. Okay. Now we wait for things to cool off. Yes, it does look much better in black. I've got the mug coming, but... Um, I only had access to the white mug, so we'll see what that looks like on white. Um, hi doggy. Hi. How are, how are you? How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah, you doing good. So yeah, the mug should be showing up somewhere within the next week here. I don't know exactly what the delay is on that. I don't know if that's normal. All right, going in and out. What is what is causing so much performance issue? What's what's up, computer? What what are you doing, computer? Why? Let me let 
me kill random processes here. Hmm. I can't see anything obviously causing performance issues. I need to get back in door. Where's the door? Where'd I leave the door? There's the door. Machinery is still active. A timer ticks slowly down to the facility's next rollout of products. System report. Power gel something engaged. Common fuel high, uncommon fuel low, rare fuel high. So I need the uncommon fuel. My scanner's detected elements used here. I could speed up the process. Uncommon fuel is condensed carbon. That one. I retrieve a formula from the operational facility. Uh, new product learn. Mind control device. Delightful. Oh, consumable frigate upgrade. Nice. So whenever we do the frigate missions, I can add that to the list. Okay, so this is one of the shits. Uh, I need other shit. Ow. So other shit there. Also other shit there. Birds. Things. Other thing down here. Look at him go. What? You gave him like a minute to respond. Give him a, give him another minute. Started engineering this Monday? Wait, what, what, what are you talking about, Demos? Those are giant flailing tentacles. I approve. Alright, so we got that one. We got this one. Let me get on the terminal here. Oh, continuing engineering degree. Nice. Well, good luck with that. Does that mean we're going to be seeing less of the demos? Monday, Wednesday, Friday during morning, and Monday, Wednesday at night. Wow. All right, then. Yeah, so we got a thing there. Got critter to scan, critter to scan, critter to scan. Floating eyeballs. Lovely. I got pretty sure... That was the manufacturing facility of scan. Okay, so we're gonna go grab this one. This is the third shit that I saw, and I'm pretty sure. Hello, tentacles. How are you? Nice to see ya. Pretty sure that there was a fourth and fifth shit somewhere nearby to visit. We shall see.
The surface of the plaque shimmers and shakes with the screams of people that lived here long ago. The words are unfamiliar, yet the sounds of Gek, anger, and outrage, I can hear meaning. Those born of Gek who opposed the Dominion were hurled from the spawning pools of the first spawn. Their cherished spawning syrup was replaced with flame. Their kind are now merely beasts of the field. Alright. So, throughout all of these um, monoliths, there have been a very slow reveal of the backstory of all of the different races. And it's been fascinating to read. It's just really slow in coming because you have to find them in exploration. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Oof. Well, good luck with all of that, Demos. I I have I'm I'm proud of you thought of going back to school terrifies me personally, but that's, um, that's just me. Okay. I need to go... that way. definitely be a challenge doing group projects virtually um, you could potentially introduce them to the world of streaming and be like sup join my stream and then you can uh, you can help guide the project so you'd be running the show but they would be uh, helping could also do sharing sessions perhaps I'm talking about Demo's stream. Demo's stream his uh, architectural wonders through CAD or whatever they're using. And then his uh, partners come in and attempt to help. So if anything, I'm trying to get Demo's more, more viewers. Alright, what is this place? This is a little... A little shack. Chances are this dude's gonna have a mission for me. Hello, sir. Lifeform's eyes widen in surprise when I go to talk to them. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. They are, they're unused to visitors wandering in from the desert, and they have clearly never seen anything quite like me before. Welcome, friend. Gek Trader desire common catalysts and common metals. Uh, Gek Trader something desire organic elements. Something new, friend, language. Um, hold up. So, Bach Beggar could mean that he greatly desires organic elements. Um, I mind that I cannot speak their language and increasingly reassured the Beak Trader indicates they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Um, have carbon. The Grateful Trader clicks their beak with delight. My offering is clearly what they most desired. So yes, organic elements was their most desired. They teach much of the dialect of their people. I have learned the Gek word for fun and for fury. Great. Right. I mime that I don't understand your language, despite the fact that I understood almost their entire sentence. And inferred the meaning of the rest of it. <laughs> uh, meh.
Okay, that's it. I don't have anything to sell to him. It's it's a freaking wall there. And actually, I don't need him. He's pointless. You are pointless, sir. So he didn't have a mission for me. I, um, all of the other ones that I've visited like this have sent me on a mission to go find someone lost in the desert somewhere. So I was a little bit surprised that that didn't happen, but whatever. I'm going to leave this planet now. So we've got the two moons to explore over there. And then we'll do those, the ringed planet last. Dude, Demos, do it. Do it. I mean, engineering considered, you are probably higher up on the food chain than many of them because of all of your past experience and your interests and addiction to things like KSP. I mean, yeah, a game is not a perfect um, representation of life, but it's pretty goddamn close considering the realism overhaul. I'm missing the moon. Here, let's uh, re aim there. You could just introduce yourself in your in your group project. Would be like, "Hi, I'm Demos. I routinely plan uh, missions to other planets for funsies. Nice to meet you." Scan, you bastards. Okay, any buildings around here to visit? No. as much as I care to scan for this planet. So now we go up and over to the other moon. We go this way, I believe. Until I can see the other moon come into play. There it is. Screenshots. Okay, what what wonders does this world have for us? Ah, we have another columned planet. All right. Hey, look, it's a thing. Oh, not only is this a columned planet, but this is not a corrupted world somehow because I'm pretty sure that these outposts don't spawn on corrupted planets. Moderately positive. Hey, burnout or not, you will have accomplished at least part of your goal of finishing your degree. Even if you only do a year. You're one year closer to finishing your degree. And that's a hell of a lot more than I could ever say. My, my lack of degree has been uh, constantly biting me in the ass. Because despite having, you know, 12 years of IT experience, you can't progress in the corporate world without that piece of paper that says you can. And it's kind of a dick. And I hate it. 
but I, I have managed well enough that I have no real desire to go back. If I were struggling to manage, like if I didn't have the good company that I've got, I probably would consider going back, but I'm not struggling. I'm doing quite well for myself, actually, despite the fact that I don't have a degree. Seventeen years to the current company, same situation, yep. I think I'm on... Thirteen or fourteen years, counting my... Counting my contracting time versus employment time. And yeah, if it weren't if it weren't for that, if it weren't for my good company that, that uh, knows me well enough to keep me keep me going and keep me advancing, I probably wouldn't be able to get away from doing school. Hey, this is a new critter. The other the other worlds of this I found have always been that uh, floating crystal cluster. This is different. This is a, this might actually be a corrupted world. Just different creatures. Going all the way, Demos. Damn. Bachelor, Master, and hopefully PhD. That's pretty. Am that's pretty ambitious. And you know, good luck to you. And uh, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground from the ISS. You know, I applaud that goal. <laughs> I applaud that goal, and I, I hope that you can manage it. Right. I, I'm pretty sure that this actually is a corrupted world because we've got the, the, the red pillars there are the ones that you can co uh, collect and bring back with you. It's got all the hallmarks of a corrupted world. The only thing I have to find is the ring. I don't technically need to. I, it's not a thing I need to actually do. But I want it. I want to find the ring. Give me a ring. I was very surprised to see that outpost. Maybe they do exist on the corrupted planets and I've never... Hey, there's a ring. What do you know? This is a corrupted planet. Ah, bounce. Ow. Son of a... <laughs> Owie. So yeah, this one does have different critters on it. What does it look like in the day? Yellow. Hella yellow. So much yellow. Blue? Yellow. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. All right, so I have I have explored. I don't actually know if I need to interact with the rings for any reason other than to read the fluff, but I'm gonna do it. The fluff is generally confusing as shit. Scenario: Life form designates Viking to approach the in, uh, instantiation. Great monolith. Silence. Acceptance of blank schism. Quasi blank. Corvax eradication enslavement. Viking war emerges emerges where individuals herk and now believe the other two have heard nothing. Repeated imagery of six cries. Analysis. Scenario involves murder of ally and culture becoming obsessed with destruction of artificial intelligence. Cautionary. Semi-survival retrieval ent of entity and null shows further instance of self-doubt self by blank. Troubling factor. Repeated pattern of blank silence and self-mythicization. Myth so we read that one before, and it makes about as much sense as before. Ultimately, these appear to be gates into other universes and Atlas is in control of them, or uses them, or something. And it appears that various scenarios are being played out, and they're kind of testing hypotheses and stuff. 
Hello. How are you? Can you go? It goed. It it goed away. All right. So out and away. Ow. Station hype. Nope. I need to get further away. There we go. This is the last planet in the system. Yep. And then we'll go to... No hostile scan detected. Bad monkeys. You can't do that. I, I won't allow it. Oh. An orange water world. With green and yellow grass. Great. This appears to be an irradiated planet. Yes, indeed, it is. And a creature here. Uh, apparently we have storms on this planet, because we have storm crystals. Big old longhorn T-Rex, sure. Why not? Let's uh, take a quick dip in the pool. Ow. Forgot to scan this, guys. There we go. Alright, quick dip in the pool. Oh, nope. I right, come back here. Come back here. There we go. You can't find gold? I don't know how to help you, because my understanding of the vanilla game is the ability to find things is as much as your patience for scanning. That's not a great answer, but it's an answer. Ah, we have a thing to grab here. Yoink. Can, can we yoink? There we go, yoinked. Yoinked! And the crystals have come out because the storm is raging on the surface, so let's go grab crystals. If you gotta fly to the planet to get your gold, then so be it. Gold's important enough. Should 
Shit. 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 <laughs> God damn it, game. Game just tried to kill me. Oh, buying components. Right, I forgot that's a thing. I had kind of stopped playing around the time that the space stations came out, so I didn't really even think about that. Or rather, by the time the economy came out. Yes. Oh, ah. Okay. So, I'm going to... Go to this side. Yes? Question mark? Yes. Why did I come here again? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Forgot why I came here. Hang on. I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted scanning all the planets. I forgot why I actually came here. Hang on. There's a thing I was supposed to visit on that planet. <laughs> oh, lordy. This is the place I was supposed to visit. It's kind of gooey in here. A little bit on the squidgy side. I have reached the location marked by my base computer. The remote, um, the mar the remote archive terminal hums, awaiting my input. Gimme. Attempting to read memory at that location. We sought an escape from reality. That's why we're all here, isn't it? I can remember what it was like to be a traveler, to have that hope, that intolerable thirst for the new. I should never have listened to you, my love. There is no fire in this place, no trophies fit for gods. There is only darkness, the family of glass. They watch everything. Uh, all right. I searched the physical cache attached to the terminal. Whoever recorded this message also left a piece of technology. Carbon. Hyperdrive module. Crap. Sweet. So, that was less exciting. However, I am curious about um, the people who just left a message. Very curious where they came from and why my base terminal is suddenly giving messages from them. A little bit odd. That's fine. Oh hey, new flying things. Oh hey, I found all the flying things on this planet. That was good. That was a convenient. Okay, so now I'm done with the system. Now I would like to go. I think I would like to go to the anomaly and see about um, continuing the Artemis quest line. Uh, let me check quick this one and see if this is even remotely visible from where we're at. Current mission. that way. 
So I could go to Rarit Zen and attempt to continue following. I don't know if this is the end. I think that's as far as the scan for the path goes, so it might be quite a ways out. That might be something where I will attempt to find that location later and then get me to a spot where I can warp there for the next stream because I have no idea how many warps that might be. Um, so I am going to... Hmm. What shall I do? Tell you what, let's go to the next system. You more or less beat it last night? Like, did you beeline the story, or did you go to the galaxy center, or what? All of the yes, got it. So you must have beelined the story then, because I'm 105 fucking hours into the game, and I haven't actually beaten it yet. Also, Pine, I have twin merch available. <laughs> Max the credit card. Hmm, this is a snazzy rifle. It's a shame it's a C class. Right, let's see what this lovely gentleman has to offer. The young electronic life form flicks hurriedly through endless reams of data. They gorge themselves on information, which they then attempt to reform as a hologram in the era that stands between us. It's clear that the research entity is frustrated and unsatisfied with the results of their effort. Uh, entity existence, I'm assuming termination approaches, failure imminent, convergence dislikes disruption. On the screen they clutch, the timer begins to tick down. A new trial or duty for the life form is about to begin. The life form starts to, d to despair as valuable seconds tick away. Um, so in the past... I have shared discovery information, and that did not help. So I'm going to try the override chip. I hand a circuit to the entity. They tap it, generating a perfect hologram. There is a brief look of delight upon their mask before they suddenly fall silent, disconnected. A new life form is swiftly downloaded to the metal body. They glare, upset at my attempt to cheat their test. Oh, sorry, buddy. Here. Um, you won't talk to me anymore? Oh, you will talk to me. Here, have a Corvax casing to make up for my my failings. Yeah, there we go. Blamly blam. Uh, blam. 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 Good, good. Uh, this is a carbon room. I don't need a couple hundred carbon, so um, I'll pass. But thanks. Also, fine. Like my new ship. That's pretty snazzy. I likes it a lot. Uh, it is A-class 53 slots. And numbers. Um... 261 damage, 275 shield, 361 hyperdrive, and 501 maneuverability. Currently. But yeah, so this type of fighter, 
Oh, game. There we go. This type of fighter, specifically with the wider body, um, those wider body components indicate that this type of fighter has higher storage capacity. So it's got uh, significantly wider storage space than a normal fighter. Um, there is a similar large storage variant of the Explorer class, and there is a similar large storage variant of the Hauler. There is not one, I believe, for the shuttle. Yeah, I, I, I lucked out on finding the longer nose variant. I do not have living ship yet. No, I know they exist, but I don't know where in the story or whatever those come from. Um, I did accidentally fall through a wormhole. Um, I had previously found a random wormhole in space, and I attempted to go through it and nothing happened. I did that on stream and literally nothing happened. Um, I found another wormhole recently and fell through it and ended up uh, 1.2 million light years away. So I marked that place, revisit that later whenever I feel like it. that, buy a bunch of that. But no, I don't know where the living ship comes from. And I'm sure I'll eventually get there. Nothing remarkable in here. Alright, I'll talk to these dudes later for their words. And I'm gonna call the anomaly. Um, straight ship. It's somewhere in the anomaly. Okay, interesting. A molten planet. Right. So let's do that. Blamo. Is it somewhere in the anomaly that is semi story based? Like, is it. Am I going to be led there at some point, or do I literally have to go find it? Here as well, please. I got a couple ships. <laughs> I, I have I have a couple ships. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so many ships until I warped them all in. God. Uh Not really led there unless you're both observant and curious. Um, shit. <laughs> I, I am certainly not observant. I got that much for you. Alright, well I'm going in the anomaly anyway, because I gotta go talk to them about Artemis. So we'll, we'll see what I can come up with. I wasn't aware that the living ship was a thing that you had to actively seek out. I thought it was a thing that, I know that they released it at some point, during one of the later updates, but I was not aware that they made it hidden-ish. I was kind of hoping that my ship had that nose, but I haven't seen that type of ship with that nose before. Okay, so let's go talk to the dudes about the stuff. And then we'll do a little bit of exploring around, see what I can find. Hey dudes, I want to talk to you about stuff. Friend Entity. Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Meta's visor gl a light flares, burning with concern and distress. Mind arc. I tell Nada about Artemis, about Null, about the Mind Arc. It glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I... I never thought to see a Traveler Soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Arc is no rescue. Um, help? Artemis Echo will never have body again. 
who will never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not a machine. It is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to a machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Oh. Oh. Is there another way? Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Upload them to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Ask me. Simulation. I ask what life would be like inside of the simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, if that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. Hmm. You must choose. Oh no. Oh no, we must choose. I have decided. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Oh god. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are, Traveler Friend. Oh god. What does this button do? This button does nothing. Okay. Oh god. I got a pick. Do we upload him to the Matrix? Or do we unplug him? Upload to Matrix or unplug? Oof. Matrix would be cool, but if he ever learned of Matrix, sad things would happen. Hello, Polo. Talk to me. Nada wishes to speak with you, friend. They are worried about a strange reading. I told them you are fine. No glitches here. Ha ha. Ha 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 But I was just told to talk to you, sir. I was just told to talk to you. But... 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 <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, what? What? I'm confused. Please think through your choices, okay? I was told to talk to you. And you say go talk to him. And he says go talk to you. And you say go talk to him. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Oh god. So am I not supposed to talk to the dude? I am confused. Guys, guys, stop hogging the space. I don't think I need any of these things. I've, I've got most of these things, so I'm fine. Uh, no. No. Is this any good? Nope. So what am I supposed to actually do then? Like, none of these things are interactable. This is the terminal I'm assuming that I'm supposed to use. None of these things are working. Leave. Decide Artemis' fate at Nada's private terminal. Specialist Polo will prime the equipment when I am ready. Will you, though? The princess is in another castle. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. All right. So, those gentlemen will not talk to me. Now, there's this dude. Now, I thought that this portal was functional. It is not functional. I can't dial it. Now I can use it. It wouldn't let me before. What the crap? Okay, well, apparently it's functional. It wouldn't let me use it before. I don't know why. 
I think I saw another player face first into this portal, so maybe it only lets one person at a time, which is stupid. What about this place? What does this place do? What does this place do? Nothing. Oh, hey, there we go. Wait, wait. Wait, deep. Game. Game. Get. Game. Game. Corvax Simulation Terminal. Terminal Prime. Okay, now I'm going inter to interact with it. Ah. Uh, not a entity authorization required. Secondary Simulation 5 running. Machine hums, glowing with a life and power that unnerves me. The terminal is scrambled, its display unreadable. Great! Okay, well, um, I'm assuming that's the simulation machine. That's useful. Handy. Uh, I can't go into either of those places. Those are doors, perhaps. It might be something where I need to exit and come back again with a new instance. Perhaps. Uh, do you do do you do anything? No, you don't do anything. Should you do something? Big old door, locked. Okay. I am continuously expanding my horizons by exploring this place. So I'm pretty sure I have explored most of that side. I have, I know I've explored quite a bit of this side, but not all of it. This is the uh, face changer terminal. Do I have any food on me that you would like, sir? Here, have an awful sack. Consuming this awful sack is an insult to my body. Um, well, fine. Be that way. Tried to give you a gift and you scoffed at me. Alright, so... This is a place. Neat. Neat. Um, I've talked to these two dudes before. They're different looking now, but that's not surprising. A pleasure to see your familiar face. Thank you for saying hello. And this dude... Greetings, kindred. Again, impossibly, we meet in the flesh. Tachi tachi. He glances down at the contact, seeming reassured by it. They nod, grateful, momentarily at peace. Great. Great. You're welcome. Pat pat. You, sir, I have milestone data, I think. He wants creature data this time. You're welcome. Thank you for your a thousand or so nanites. Alright, so we've got this general location. Okay. I cannot, okay. Unfortunately, I cannot jump over the edge into the abyss. But it's a pretty abyss. So, the only places left that I am aware of to interact with are um, that glowy ball thing and that dude. This dude, as far as I'm aware, only sells um, Quicksilver stuff. And most of those are just cosmetic things. And I certainly don't have enough to buy anything useful. Cosmetic shiny Quicksilver things. So then this dude is the Nexus mission guy. Next is mission guy. And these are all about uh, larger multiplayer mission things. So, if there is a place in here 
to get the um, the living ship. I know not where that may be. And I have no indication of where I could even look to try to find it. I've talked to this dude. He won't talk to me anymore. Uh, there's another dude over here. I talked to him. I just have to nod politely at him each time I talk to him. Uh, there's another dude over here. And I think he just wants me to give him money? Smell them. Smell them. <laughs> it looks uncomfortable. Their pulse visible in their throat. Alright, fine. Look, I admit it. I'm not a geck. I'm just another traveler just passing through. Um, why are you lying? Have you ever crossed paths with Sentinel who patrols most of the worlds out there? Um, yes, absolutely. I have killed many of them. Then you know what it's like to be hunted by them. Suffice to say the Sentinels and I had a conflict of interest, and now it's in my interest to lay low here. Great. Good for you, sir. And now, now he no longer wants to talk to me. Great. Good for you, sir. And I've been on this balcony. Jesus. Sudden influx of evils. Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome. Some neat looking ships out there. I got nothing. I got nothing. If there's a place for the living ship, I don't know where that may be. Also, mission. No idea why that's not working. So maybe I'll bail out and uh, come back in again, see if the reload helps at all. Um, da -da 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 -da. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. I mean, if it's not story related, then I'll take another hint. Item is the void egg? What the hell are you talking about? Is there a void egg? What the hell is a void egg, by the way? I don't have a void egg. I have not seen a void egg. I don't know what one is. I don't know where I might acquire one. It's a purchasable curiosity item? Oh! So, Quicksilver then. Couldn't have made this easier. I see no void egg. 
I see void husk. Plate stem. Compound bulb. Past it? one ever know to do that? How? How? Plus, I don't have any Quicksilver to speak of. I have 600 and it's 3200 to buy the damn thing. So, meh. A faint tapping can be heard coming from within. How would one ever know to buy the Void Egg to get a living ship? How? How? Good lord, okay. So that's a thing that's gonna happen maybe never, based on the amount of Quicksilver that I don't have. So I'm gonna exit and then come back in and see if that helps with the mission at all. I'll even take a quick trip in my fleet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> take a quick trip in my fleet and uh, unlock, uh, unload some items before I go back in there. So many ships. There's my old temporary ship, apparently. Um, so this one's got the um, the silver nose. I saw one in there that had a gold nose, and that was kind of neat. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. Also, I bought this one because I found it out in the wild, and I'm totally going to scrap it. I may scrap that one. I'm not positive. How many ships do I have currently? I've got um, the five. Pretty sure that's it. Six? Do I have... Wait, no, that's a bystander. I only have the five? Okay, that's fine. Okay, I need to unload items. Desperately need to unload items. Because inventory. But first, great. All right, I don't think I need to dump anything in here. Don't think I need to dump anything in here. Unfortunately, this stuff is not visible from that other screen. So. And I'm out of space, okay. Hang on. Dumpy 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 dump 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 dump. Anything useful, I don't believe. I 
I'm not entirely sure what kelp sack is for offhand. No, grabbed it for some reason or another. I just don't remember why. So I think those will go in a different pocket. Just trying to remember what all my pockets are for. Uh, these things can go in here for now. Storm crystals as well. Forgot to sell that, that's okay. Alright, so cargo is as cleaned out as I care to at the moment. Ship. guys go so those guys will go in there for now and then I think it's over here this one I can take these so I have 11 I have 11 different types of corruptions I don't remember how many there were I remember blade saying that it was double digits I think it was 11 or 12 so I may have them all I'm not positive but the only one that I haven't found on an actual planet is this Terbium Growth. Um, so I'm, I'm curious and hopeful to eventually find one of those planets. But for right now, I have found two more since the last time we did stream. Um, so I may show those off at some point or another. Actually, I did show off this one before. Uh, this was the Trippy Balls planet. But I never actually found the glitch on that planet because they, they just weren't showing up. Uh, the bubble cluster, that is actually the one that Blade had first found. Relatively, there are 12 exotic biomes. Okay, so I'm missing, I'm missing one entirely, and I haven't found another, even though I got this through a glitch. The glitch glitch. It's the glitchy glitch. Uh, but yeah, the bubble cluster is from the one that Blade had found originally. It's relatively lackluster. It's got bubbles in the atmosphere. It's got balls, like there's, there's balls on the ground little bitty balls, lots of balls, like the, every goddamn thing on that entire planet is spherical in nature, um, but it's really kind of lackluster, so I'm not even going to bother showing it off, unless people are really interested. Um, I doubt, I doubt I entered it, I'm not positive. <laughs> the planet's a cube though, yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome if we had a cubicle planet, just, just for... Just for uniqueness sake. Uh, that can go in there. Uh, that's where those are. Okay. Let me grab those quick. I have five walker brains. I killed five walkers. So it turns out, once you get to four stars, four, four, four star wanted level, basically, um, you get a walker, and then you get a second wave with a walker, and I think it also comes with two floaters, armed floaters. And then, um, once you've killed that second walker with four stars, then it switches to five star wanted, where you then get a walker and a dog, or two, I don't recall plus two floaters. So it's not a massive increase. I thought that there was another type of critter that was going to show up um, at five stars, but unfortunately not. There are no cube planets. There are no donut planets. There are donut-shaped objects on planets, and even cube-shaped objects on planets. But no, all the planets are all spherical. It is a bit unfortunate. Um, I don't actually know where to put my sacks. 
I collected a bunch of meat bits. Um, probably shouldn't have, but I collected a bunch of meat bits. And I don't know exactly where to put them, because I'm kind of running out of space, because I'm dumb like that. Uh, these can go in here. That's... I think this one's free. Mostly. Close enough. Close enough. The, the meat collector. Donut shaped planets are plausible. Um, I can't speak to that. I, I, I just can't. I, I don't know. I don't know what could conceivably cause a donut shaped planet. I continue buying up shit. No, I don't want to continue buying up shit right now. Um, I will buy oxygen and that's it, I think. Did I even have something to sell? I thought I had something to sell. Oh, I can sell the um, the drop pod data if I can find it. <laughs> I have too much shit in my pockets. This is not abnormal for me. Fuck! I must I must not be able to wait. I must be blind is what the answer is to that. Blind, because you know. thought I could sell them, but apparently not. Or, even better, I left it my damn ship. Although I could have just, you know, sold it from the ship. Forgot that's possible. God damn it. Negative 32%. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't care. A rapidly rotating planet would tear itself apart before it would flatten? Hmm. I'm sure with a universe of near infinitude. That's a red ship. I think I lost a ship. I might have lost a ship. That would be unfortunate. So let's collect all my winnings. Romite salt. Frigate module. Frigate module. Nice. Um, activated emerald. Grantine. Done. Great. Oh dear, chaos. Oh dear. I... Mm, oh dear. Okay. Um, storage augment. Nice. Sack venom. Storage oh, Double storage augment. Very nice. Nitrogen salt. Money. Money. Iridocyte. Lots of money right there. Uh, more money. 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 Gecknip. Chromite salt, money, nice. I'll make sure that my frigate has, or freighter has storage space. We have plenty. Iridocyte, lots of money, money. Magnetized ferrite, indium, money. Ferrite, great. <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely many, many, many years too late to actually be able to earn money off of Bitcoin. So, I'm pretty sure that, that red means I lost a shit. 
Let's see. Money, money, geodesite, chromatic metal, geodesite, money, geodesite. Um, so why did they continue despite heavy damage? It's possible that they would have called me and I would have normally recalled them, but I didn't, I wasn't there for it. Vortex cubes. Nitrogen salt, money, money. All right. It said continued despite heavy damage. So maybe they did come back and I just need to repair it. Hmm. I am, I am confused, but that's okay. Sometimes the only way to learn is by trying and failing. So if you can't convince her, let her try. Let her fail. See how it goes. At least see if you can convince her not to use too terribly much money. Alright, let's uh, grab winnings. Right, winnings, got it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was it. So that was five different uh, fleets of ships that went out. Let me put the shit away. Cube is just for trading. Almost kind of remembering where all my shit is. It's amazing. Alright, this goes actually in here. So I have three things to sell, although I do believe that those two are from this station, or from this system, so I can't sell them here. Oof. Oof. <laughs> just just hard oof on that one. I said I wasn't gonna buy things, but I'm buying things. God damn it. So is she doing that to make money or is she does she do that because she enjoys making soap? Because only one of those is actually going to get you anywhere. Um, congrats, Paige. Oh, you got tricked into thinking it was gold. I see. Um, so I do have that one. So that one is the one that was red on the on the on the thing, and it it did make it back alive. So that's wonderful. I will repair that in my off time though. We're gonna go back in here and see if the mission is working. made soap before. 
I enjoy various hands-on projects, I just never end up doing them. Now I'm parked inside of someone else. Gross. I'm parked inside of someone else that has a very similar ship to mine. I think their ship's broken. It's not rotating like they normally would. Sick beat, though. Oh, hey. That one's very similar to mine, just different coloring. And it's got the, um, the tie wings instead of the curved wings. I like mine better, honestly. I really do. I like mine a lot. Okay, so we now have mission markers. So yes, going in and out did help get the mission working again. So let's do that. Hello, sir. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Um... Ah, decide the fate at the private terminal. So I was right. That was the location that I was supposed to go to for the thing. So let's go decide Artemis's fate. Right. Right. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada, en Nada Entity Authorization Detected, Secondary Simulation 5, Right Enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Korvax to the Atlas, now reshaped to the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, it will act as home for Artemis, should I wish it. Oof. Artemis dead. We are holding Ghost of Artemis. Do we upload Artemis to the Matrix or let him die? If he is uploaded to the Matrix and he doesn't learn of his fate, he may be quite happy there. If he does learn of his fate, he may not be so happy there. Or shall we let him die? Now here's the point where I suspect letting him die may be the safest bet. Just because... He's already dead, and uploading him to the, the Matrix is essentially bringing him back to life in a false state. So the current state is he dead, and we can't ask him what he wants, Paige, because he dead. And we have his ghost in a machine right now. And we're waiting to choose to upload him to the Matrix to give him an additional chance at life or put him in and ask him. I mean, that would be the ideal. But we don't have that choice right now. We, ha we have the choice of final decision. No phoning a friend. Last call. Uploading him into your brain. Hell no. I barely have enough room for my own brain. See, that's the thing. Is it ideally, Paige, yes. You could put him in and ask him what he thinks. Put him in, tell him, this is the Matrix, are you happy with this? And see what he has to say about it. And if he says, nah, let me die, I'd be like, alright, done. Put him in Keanu's brain as payback. <laughs> I think Artemis has had enough torment. I think he should be allowed to die. It is a shame. It is a shame. But I think I want to push the death button. 
Unless there's enough people out there who say I shouldn't. So, up to you guys. Should we upload him to the Matrix without any clauses of asking him what he wants or without the clause of putting him in Keanu's brain or my own brain? Straight up, upload him to the Matrix and hope for the best. Or let him die. Pine, are you willing to tell me what happened when you uploaded him? So I can show you what happened when I upload when I don't upload him? Paige says do whatever. Chaos says upload. Demo says upload. Pine says do the other thing because he's already uploaded. Hmm. Pine, you're gonna share with the class so we can do the other thing and Hey Atramores, how you doing? Kinder says option two. I think option two is let him die. According to one, two, let him die. You can share what happens, but it's uneventful. Paige says option three, which is leave. Just walk away. I don't want to make this choice. I'm just done. <laughs> Oh, Atramors can't hear me. Um, it is currently about a quarter to 11, so let's give it probably about two more hours. That's about right, Paige. Paige, you know me so well. <laughs> All right. Keep the mind arc in my pocket forevers. Wait, do I have the mind arc? I don't have the mind arc in my pocket, technically. It's at least it's not an actual item I can play with. Um, okay, so we technically have two votes. We have two votes for upload and two votes for allow him to die. Really? All right. Must must build the suspense for kitty time. All right. Well, then I'm going to leave it on this screen for people to uh, discuss. And on top of that, on top of kitty time, we're doing kitty shirt time. Kitty shirt time. Huh? Huh? See what it did there? Kitty shirt. Twin merch. Love it. Okay, kitty time. I found a kitty. He was laying down and sleeping like this, so I picked him up like this, and he's just laying like this. Kitty. Kitty. Sleepy kitty. Hey kitty. I am I am not only digging the merch, but I'm digging the idea that I actually have merch, which is weird. Just weird. Turn the matrix into a Bitcoin miner. It's an entire solar system worth of matrix. As a Bitcoin miner. Kitty. 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 Hi. Alright. I don't think we're any closer to a decision, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the Pine route and allow him to die, so that Pine can tell us what happens when we upload him. No, no, Paige, no, no, no. I mean, I am in a Matrix, I'm playing a game. <laughs> I'm going to allow him to die. Push the button. 
Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on a quiet new intensity. I speak, and their voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently, and I suggest I place the Ark upon the terminal. I do so and hear a whisper. A prayer? The Ark begins to unfold, twisting from its center, releasing the traveler soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. It fades after a moment, and with it the last remnants of Artemis within this world. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me that I did the right thing. Alas. He fizzled. He fizzled in blue. The machine hums, glowing with life and power that unnerves me. The terminal is scrambled. The display is unreadable. Broadcast message. <laughs> I attempt to send a message into the simulation. It does not work. I do not know what I expected. How could a whole universe listen? Fascinating answer. When you upload him, he wonders where he is and asks questions about where you are. You then have the option to tell him his fate, which I wish you did. He gets all emo and weird for a bit, but then in the end is excited that he has a whole solar system to explore just for him and sets off to build a ship. Welp. That actually sounds a little bit more promising than mine. <laughs> mine, we just straight up murder a dude. I just straight up murder a dude. Alright, so. Space Anomaly. Continue to investigate Null. Null, the first traveler, you say. I vaguely remember them saying something about that. Return to space and contact Apollo. Continue to investigate Null. Alright, so we still have missions to do. Okay, that's fine. I am not going to speak to you, sir. I'm not going to speak to you either. You, you, all, you all are irritating me. Ah. So the choice here also adds the dialogue at the end. Alright. Fair enough. So we'll see what the end of the main quest has to say about uh, me murdering Artemis. Okay. Okay. So. Incoming message. Apollo. You are not Apollo! Are you receiving? That is Apollo? That is Apollo. Wait. I thought that was Null. Fuck, whatever. The hollow terminus is showing me available again. Your signal was bleh. Thought you were gone. It's a relief to hear Apollo again. Feels like we've not spoken in a long time. You're correct. We haven't. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best as I can. The gateway, the strange planet, the vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just dull, aching red. Oh, orbiting headphones guy. Okay. I tell Apollo that I saw the atlas itself. You... You saw it? You met the atlas? The Gek? The Corvax? They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Uh... It was kind of... It's not a god. It wasn't terrifying. It was a machine, but it's also extreme levels of WTF. Like, they have gone out of their way to make the dialogue in this game very scattered, haphazard, and confusing. But just a machine. 
And tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we are protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I, fe I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you, and I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Korvaks pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Talk of money is absurd. Um, sure. Hi, kitty. I tell Apollo that I agree. Perhaps the Sentinels and Atlas are linked. Perhaps this is the path we need to take. But there are other factors now at play. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... Static? Who would static indeed? I know I made... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... Static. Atchamore's ready party of nine! Oh god! Raid! Raid! Atchamore's humble hime. Welcome. <laughs> Noises! Humble Hime, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. I shall tell them of my choice. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo was initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explained that I could not do it. It would not have been life, just an empty existence within the simulation. I had to allow Artemis to find peace in death. Was this right? You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal to join you. That, is mu that much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Uranium, but no gold. <laughs> Find a monolith. Search the patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Um, locate a monolith. Scan surroundings. Find a monolith. A mechanical planet, you say? Um, I'm gonna go visit that. Wait, hold up. There's a monolith on this planet. We're going to the, the monolith planet. Oh. You fine? Anomaly detected. Oh god, anomaly detected. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. We're going in. Um. We're going in. <laughs> All right, we're going in the black hole. <laughs> oh boy, where are we gonna end up this time? Um, great. Black hole warp successful. Distance traveled. Uh, it was just over a million light years. And an engine got broke. Deuterium and cadmium. Two things I don't happen to have on me. That's unfortunate. But that's fine. That's just my, uh... That's just my... One of my pulse engine upgrades. Not a big deal. Deal with that later. So... No! No hostile scan detected! Stop it! I disapprove. He'll murder you all. Alright, I'm gonna pop into the station. No, no hostile ships approaching. I, I disagree. Um, I mean, you need to process the ore into uranium pellets, I guess they would be. They, they act as ingots like everything else. Hey look, I'm in the station now. 
the only sad part that I have with black holes is that you can't easily tell um, where you are in relation to where you were. There isn't really an easy way to tell. But, let's see, we have this gun, which is an A-class, with maximum slots already. I can, I can dig it. Do I like this one? It's alright. Let me uh, whip out one of my other ones. I'm pretty sure this gravity blaster was when I was ready to swap out. Ah, so this is another max that has just a slightly different look to it. You found a visual bug. I am not surprised. There are plenty of those to be had. So this is my other one that's also A-class, not maximum. Let's uh, take a look at this one compared to this one. Because I like the style of this one a little bit. And it's worth more, technically. So we'll trade up. That's been my trading up slot. Slowly trading up values over time to see if I can find a better one. Okay, so... Let's do some selling, because I don't want to buy anything here. There we go. Sell, sell, sell. Great. That's not the exit. Wait. I didn't check in here. Ah. A carbon room. Great. Okay, so I need to warp back to my previous system. I'll come back here and explore later. We have six planets here. We are in a yellow. An adequate Corvax. Sure, nothing overly remarkable. Fangbone, rating party of six. Hello, welcome. Fangbone Raid. Hello, hello. Hello, hi. Ah, jelly. Yoink. Okay, uh, yes. Warp back to previous system. It's going well. I just accidentally dumped myself into a black hole, so I gotta go back. Getting close to, or, or rather, I think I'm getting close to the end of the story. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I'm digging it. I'm on uh, 100 and, what, 110 hours now, I think, on this save for tonight. Not, not 110 hours tonight, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing a lot of just random exploring and wealth gathering and fiddling around, so... tonight. Thirty-two hours, nice. Wait. Where but wait, is this the metal world? Hold up. Are you the metal world? Yeah, you're the mechanical planet, okay. And what are you? Oh, this was the boiling planet, I believe. Molten planet. Yeah, close enough. I need to go to the mechanical planet, so let's go that way. We're, we're gonna hit up the monolith. Nice. You are No Man's Sky too. Sweet. Yeah, I haven't actually been building a base yet. I don't know what's 
holding me back. I think part of it is um, I'm being a I'm being a tightwad, so I don't want to like buy any of the blueprints and stuff until I'm done with like the main story to see what other blueprints I get for free. Because I've had multiple instances where I've spent to buy a blueprint only to get the blueprint given to me moments later in the story. So I keep wanting to hold off on that. But I'm starting to wonder if I'm holding off for no real reason. I found it! I found it! Yes! I found it. Okay. I've been looking for this corrupted planet for quite some time now. And I finally found it. So this is the uh, corrupted planet that has the glitched glitches. The glitched glitches. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I found it. The glitch glitches. So this glitch, um, this glitch is the one that I can get for free through a bug in the game. And I've been looking for the planet that has them. I finally found them. So this is going to get a base. I'm going to have to put a base on here. So we have... We have a glowy ball critter. Love it. Glowy ball critter. It's a little ball of plasma, I guess. Here, let me switch back to my proper gun. There we go. We have various metal doohickeys in the ground. Giant metal doohickeys in the ground. Shards of metal in the ground. That's great. I like this planet. I found the float balls. So the floaty balls. Are you... You are a scannable floaty ball. Great. Ah, and that technically counts as a plant. <laughs> it, uh, it is plant life. Quote, unquote, plant life. Age mature, root structure unfathomable, nutrient source dark energy, notes deceased. And if we go into the plant life, it says something else entirely different. Nutrient source is heat recycling, and notes paralyzing spores. Great. Uh, we also have shards and bits and pieces. Wonderful, wonderful. Happy to find this one. And I might actually make my base right next to this monolith just for funsies. Although, I'm probably going to get a portal on this planet. So what I think I will do is I will put down a save point here. So I can find it again if I need to. And then we'll find the, uh, the portal. And then once we find the portal, if it's on this planet, I'll build next to the portal, so I have an easily accessible portal. Because um, I don't actually have an easily accessible portal yet. Grab some of these things. Yay! Don't need gold for a reactor. That's a good thing. Um... I don't know if I've scanned everything on this planet yet. Pretty sure I have. Floaty ball. Not so floaty ball. Ball pieces. I think that's pretty much all that we've got on this planet. Um, I don't see any of the uh, pickup versions of the floaty balls. But that's fine. I have, I have zillions of them, so I don't need to find more. But I'd like to find more, just to make sure that this is... I mean... Okay, it's kind of dumb. I don't need to make sure that this is a corrupted planet, because it's very obviously a corrupted planet. But whatever. I'm being dumb right now. Okay. Let's find the monolith. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable, muted silver, and yet something lurks beneath. It is gray, and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Portal me. 
Ley line link detected, tracing to source. It looks like it's on planet, great. So I will be able to have a readily available planet, readily available portal on this planet, because I was gonna build base here anyway. So I dig it. Great, um, where's my ship? There's my ship. All right, so I'm gonna grab this then. I don't need this. I'm gonna screenshot it though, because I haven't actually screenshotted this place, oddly enough. Perfect. All right, Fangbone, thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow. Hope to see you again. Have yourself a good night. All right, floaty balls. Floaty balls. Let's go to the portal. Whee! Okay, so let me get a base going here. I'm gonna use this little flat spot of land right there. Base, base, there we go. Uh, base. I'll do my usual basic, basic base for now. And let's get me some parts. Okay, solar panels. And let's do a battery or two. Didn't break enough metal thingies. Great. Basic base. Basic base. Probably should have a thingy in here for manual power if I need to, but this is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Wait, why are these not battery? Why are these not battery? These are power output 50. Grid power being used is only 30. So these apparently don't count as being connected to the base, despite the fact that they're connected to the base. Power system on this game is a little bit wonky. Sometimes things are connected. Like this is connected despite not being plugged in, nor being set on the center slot where it should be. These are working to power that, but they're not working to power the batteries. So let me plug in the batteries and see if that does a thing. Mm, 
No, not doing a thing. Son of a... I'm dumb. Don't mind me. I'm dumb. Alright, can I delete the, um... Bath? I didn't even... I didn't even recognize that I didn't build batteries. I'm dumb. Okay, so... Tech, power, power... Not battery. The right battery. 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 See, helps to not be dumb. Now the batteries are charging. Wonderful. Okay. So now I have base next to portal in floating ball town with some pretty fantastic scenery here. Let me see if I can get a good shot of everything. I can't get shot of that, unfortunately. But I can get a shot of that. Monolith, ship, mini base, floaty balls. All's good. Alright, let's turn on the portal and maybe take a screenshot of that. Okay, so I need to empower the glyphs. Uh, cobalt's fine. Don't have any of that. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I need copper, cadmium, emerald, indium, or activated copper. Um, I'm pretty sure. It also says locate a portal, but I found a portal. I just can't use it. Um, do we have copper on this planet? We have, we have copper. So can I find copper? I found copper. Kitty, okay, do it. Copper. Ball. Ball. Floaty ball. Ow. Copper. I should have checked how much I actually needed, but I'm going to assume that this is enough. And if it's not, go get more. Copper here. Hang on. There we go. Uh, I do have an indium drive, yes. That's one of the many recipes that I've been given for free. However, I don't have an indium drive for my freighter. 
I don't have any of the special traps from my freighter because those are freaking expensive and they're not giving them to me for free. Yet. So far. There we go. Portal. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. Portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. This planet's address. Leave. I know the freighter ones aren't, they're not entirely necessary. If I want the freighter, um, if I want the freighter to be able to come to me in one of the other colored systems, it has to have it. Otherwise, yes, I can just call it to me in yellow systems and everything's fine. So, relay portal glyphs to Apollo. So I need to go into space, I suppose? Because I can't, apparently I can't use communicator on planet. Uh, this is fine. I have a base here. I can come back anytime. Whee! Right, I need to go to the Hollow Terminus. Okay, let's scan. Hollow Terminus. Where are you? That planet. We're going to that planet now. That's fine. I wanted to go to that planet anyway. Congrats on your power of influence, Demos. Scan all of the things. Oh. Hi, Lightning. Step it. I'm sorry for scanning everything. Don't kill me. No, stop trying. I said no. Don't kill me. Oh, Pine, did you ever find the tornado? Yipe! Yipe! This place is scary. Oh yes, the wall of fire is a thing, absolutely. Um, the tornado, I, I don't know for sure if it's a specific thing. But I know it. I haven't seen it on very many planets. Like, it wasn't called tornado or anything like that. It was just part of the storm effect. Um, but it was an actual tornado. And it picked me up and yeeted me into the goddamn stratosphere. It was great. Terrifying, but great.
Okay. Done. And now because it's hot and it's a storm, I have the jetpack power to float all the way up here. Yay. Hollow turn is activated. Multiple sources available. Tune to Apollo. Hello, Apollo Pyramid Head, sir. Have you found the glyph for your world? I am almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired... You have a stomach? And I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. You have a farm? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of all I saw within the portal. Of what happened to Artemis when they walked that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas and the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. You can have the glyphs, though. You can come to me. Absolutely. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me they will, promising to see me soon. We're gonna bury another dude, aren't we? Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called Null. They warn me to be careful, too. Great. Wonderful. Ah! Never mind. We are automatically called Null. Hello, Null. Oh! Well, that's nice to know, Paige. Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help figuring out. Why? The Sentinels do not keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that. Seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to a location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret, I am sure of it. I know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us, no more than the air or wind might be called such names. But it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Sure, we can do that. visit the observatory on the back at that other planet. Okay, that's fine. Bring news of Apollo to Nada. Okay. That away. Um, yay, yay indeed, Demos? I don't. I don't. Ah! Sweet baby Jesus. I am inside the anomaly. Oh, that, that's a problem, isn't it? Hey, I'm out of the anomaly. Great. I'm on the wrong side of the anomaly. Okay, that's fine. Exactly hooray for one-way hitboxes, because that's not always the case. Um, I've had I've had sentinels spawn under the world, and they've not been able to get out from the world. They've just been floating right at the surface trying to shoot me and not actually being able to. 
We're going back in here. The place that tried to eat me. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. There we go. Every time I see these messages of people receiving things from other people, I know exactly what's happening. Especially that one received five silicate powder. Yeah, they're all doing duplicate glitches. Something I have completely refused to do up until this point. Oh, we have a squid ship over there. I want to look at the squid ship. Squid ship! They're, they're getting ready to leave. Oh, bye, squid ship. As much as the squid ship is normally within my theme, I don't care for the look of them, so I'm not going to bother. I know I know how to go about getting one, but I don't I don't care for them all that much. Now a cat squid ship, exactly. <laughs> I have just received carbon from Wicked Silence 8. So someone has decided that they're going to use me to do their duplicate glitch. Oh well. You are becoming more visible, Tanada, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. That makes Nada happy. Nada is not happy with other events. Artemis Entity perished in the portal. Portals are infected. Vector for corruption. Apollo Entity will only spread corruption. Danger. <laughs> oh well, free carbon. Right. Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to Atlas Falsity. Great danger. Um. Great. That was information. Sure. Is that all of the information you have for me, sir? But I'm supposed to bring news of Apollo to Nada. Why am I not doing that? Red orbs, dominant, hostile to Nada fallen priest. Not a deity, not worthy of worship. Atlas liar machine of life and death is an unknowing. Infection is at bay. Nada will endure. So I apparently can't gonna have to talk to him at some point later. Hello, sir. Not a friend does not trust the portals. Scared of rampancy of the Crimson Hunter. But I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, traveler friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as this universe. Tell me about your fear, sir. Not as scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, Traveler Friend. That's fair. Alright, uh, so... So... That's not working. So we'll come back to that later. Probably gonna have to... Probably gonna have to leave? And maybe visit another system and call it back again for that to work? Oh, hi. Ship that is now in my ship. So instead, we shall visit the Observatory. I never renamed it. I am now noticing. I never renamed the Amnesmia Outpost. Alright, I may or may not land on this planet before someone tries to shoot me. Balls. Alright. Time to shoot some dudes. Dudes? Dudes! Hi, dudes. Why are you 
so far away, dudes. Oh, hi. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> he died. Alright, so I did... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rename the floaty ball place. What should we name the floaty ball place? It's got a portal, so I'd like for it to somewhat reflect that there is a portal there. Um, and it's got the floaty mechanical balls. No, that's a silly name. Right? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> As I almost crashed nose first into the planet. I already have a place named Trippy Balls. McDonald's play place ball pit. I'm 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 thinking I'm thinking that's not with my theme. I kinda like they spin. They spin indeed. Cause my um my current theme name <laughs> or call it twitch.tv slash twin minds. <laughs> um, I've got Stone Forest, Corrupted Reef, Hexa Home, Sepia Storm, Texroom Plains, Spinal Tap, Champlains. There's a reason for that name. Um, Chromatic Columns, Trippy Balls, Stained Shards, Forest of Light, Spinal Tap 2, The Tappening. Static glass. Okay, so Spinal Tap 2 doesn't quite fit the theme. <laughs> I also have spher Spherical Processing Station, that is correct. Um, I also have Twin Tech C Lab Zero Dawn. Yes, for the base. And I, I like I like they spin. I do not name planets or other things. I, I have never felt the desire to do that. Especially after I've come across some stupid ass names out there. One of the stupid ass names that I've actually come across is... Where are you? Huge Snowball Junction. Huge Snowball Junction. I have renamed it. I have renamed it. Snowball Junction, except for the snowball is like two feet wide. And to be fair, there were some pretty sizable snowball planets, so you know, kind of sort of fitting name, but still. Every planet and moon has exactly one portal? I thought it was every system has one portal. But I've I've heard conflicting reports on that because I've seen I've seen both things said, so I don't know which one is correct. And I know how to find the portals, but I just haven't actually had a base next to a portal yet to make it easy to access. Um, so I I've, I've just been not doing that. But now I have a base next to a portal in case I want a portal. Also, I am much less scared of the eggs now. Now that A, I can nuke them, and B, I know that they're not actually going to do anything to me until I poke them. 
Uh, I saw glow. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I have visited the observatory. Observatory. Hey. Hey. Who poked me? Who poked me? Oh, you poked me. Look at you. Oh, I can't. Fine. You live for now. I mean, I guess that's that's true. I I only I haven't actually used a portal. I've I've seen bits and pieces of portals. Um, and I thought that it was you can travel to a specific system. But it's entirely possible that there is one on each planet and you can go to any specific planet on any specific system, which is great. I just wasn't aware. Oi! Oi! I'm trying to read here! Wait, I can! Haha! -ha. Right here. The lights, they're crazy. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open, the logs ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a Gek specialist. A translator, they were accused of uh, questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks. Aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corvax still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how many friends, how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat. Sixteen short bursts of data in a loop. I extract the coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. Whoosh. Oh, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Crashed freighter indeed. Uh, is there anything to loot in here? Not anymore. Okay. If this sends me back to the burning planet, I'm going to be sad. I want a reason to explore the other planets. It's sending me back to the burn planet. Sad. Manifest missing. Limited data available. What? I need a log encryption key. No one told me I need a log encryption key. Fine. I'll search first. Ooh, 
Ooh, this one's a little bit trickier than usual. Sodium and chromatic metal. Oh, log encryption key. Great. Right, well, I might as well just finish off the rest of them. Am I just going to get a bunch of log encryption keys? I'm going to get a bunch of log encryption keys, aren't I? Ah, incomplete data sequence, so I actually have to get them all. Got it. Can you tell I've done a few of these freighters before? I know where all our shit is. Hello, Gila. And you are... Huh? Ah. I don't know why I couldn't find that one like my normal. But it's fine. It's not grinding them. It's I happen to come across them often. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed, as, and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. But... They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With the fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. All biological life within the universe, oh god. Only I remain. The Korvax stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. They are coming now. The screams of my friend resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me, a thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. <laughs> Unexpected log termination. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, yeah, so there's there's been many hints of the Sentinels um, being responsible for eradicating universes. And they find a glitch in the universe and just end the whole goddamn thing. Oi, don't give me the mission to salvage materials from the wreck. I already did that. Unless it repopped out because I've now done the mission part. 
Nope. Okie dokie. They're sensitive. They're sensitive little flowers and they get very upset very quickly. <laughs> Their dad left them for the corruption. <laughs> Alright, so next part of the mission. Activate the hollow terminus. So, this part right here. Bring news of Apollo to Nada. It got marked off as complete. I didn't do it, because it didn't work. And now apparently, it did work? Question mark? And I'm supposed to continue? Whatever, it's fine. It's fine! Corruption, glitches, it's all it's all about the same. The the sentinels are going after corrupted universes, glitches in the universe. They don't they don't like the matrix. I like the three wing dude. Let's look at the three wing dude. Three wing dude! We have two different three wing dudes that are identical. Huh. O Bloodstow and F. Trog Big Ray are identical. Hmm. Something shady up with that. I'm trying to see if there's anything not identical about them. Same beak, same frill in the back of the head, same um, split tail at the back, three wings, yellow, brown top, white underbelly. Identical. That is unfortunate that these quests are bugged. Um, very unfortunate. Alright, so we're going that way. Was that close? Right. Right. It's fine. there not one? Oh, there is one. I was just look, looking in the wrong spot. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You doing good? You good? You alright? You alright there? I just felt like that. Oh, hey. My final critter on this planet. Yeah. What's with those eyeballs, dude? Yikes. Also, another thing that's bugged. This. The um, species discovered. I have manually uploaded it. Um, I noticed that Blade has recently acquired the um, the gold level. Um, achievement for collecting all of the various critters on each planet and I have I have 47 I have 47 planets where I have discovered all species the requirement to get the gold level achievement is 10 and I have not yet gotten the gold level achievement I'm still on the silver level achievement so that achievement is bugged, and no matter how many I have uploaded, it's not triggering it to complete. I don't know what Blade did to finish his. He may have just been uploading them one at a time as he's gotten them and just reached 10. And maybe it's because um, I didn't I didn't notice 
Um, clicking it does nothing. Um, I didn't notice that it wasn't working for me until I was past like 12. You don't think you barely visited 47 planets in total? Oh man. Oh man. I have I have warped 49 times. One more away from the next level of that. I have almost all of the journey milestones. The only ones I'm missing are extreme survival and space exploration for warping times. Um, I have max standing with all three of the dudes. Um, I have uh, anywhere from 340 to 440 words for each race. I have not been doing very many missions. That's unfortunate. Um, 12, 13, and 15 systems visited. I have not been doing very much of the guild stuff, but I've gotten all of their sub their their unique special requirements, money earned, sentinels destroyed, and rare creatures scanned. Have not done a lot of the other stuff though. Why is the game so unpopular, you ask? Well, it's because of how the game started. The game started a few years ago, I don't actually know when, um, with a lot of broken promises. The game was wildly popular before it launched, and everyone wanted the game to come out. Everyone was anticipating it, tons of pre-orders, tons of money was spent, but they launched it horribly, with a lot of broken features, missing features, broken promises. It was a shit show. Um, so people were asking for the refunds, there was a, a huge slew of memes that went out about how horrible it was and why you should never pre-order games because of this game. This game was like the poster child for why people shouldn't pre-order games. But they have gone through since then and done, they've fixed everything. Everything that was wrong with it, every, well, most everything. Um, everything that was missing, everything that was wrong with it, they've enhanced the game drastically, but by then, it's lost all of its new shine. Everyone's moved on since then. And everyone who has bad memories of the game when it came out has kept those bad memories, and very few have gone back to it. I'm one of the few that have gone back to it and have enjoyed it after the fact. But I also wasn't terribly salty about it when it first came out. I kind of enjoyed it when it first came out. Um, but, yeah, it there were some issues... But yeah, I would say it's definitely worth it if it's, you know, if, if it's your kind of game, if you like the space exploration, um, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot to do, but again, it, it had that huge smudge on its reputation. The main purpose, uh, it's, it's a, it's a sci-fi space exploration game, um, somewhat survival based, various requirements to keep yourself alive, that kind of thing. Hey, Acewer, thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Um, lots of sci-fi, lots of unique places to explore. Lots. It's procedurally generated, um, so you're rarely going to find everything exactly the same on each planet. Um, great landscapes to visit. Interesting creatures. Decent enough storyline. Mysteries to solve. Bases to build things to shoot me. Nope. Oh, holes to fall into. <laughs> 2016? Okay. Oh, right. I need these guys not to be shooting at me. Hmm. Guys, can you not? That'd be, that'd be delightful. I'm gonna go up here. And apparently they're going to have a hard time searching for me up here. That's fine. Here, I'm going to have a conversation while you guys look for me. Speak to no. I have played Astroneer. Uh, I haven't played all of Astroneer, but I did play quite a bit of it. Yeah, Pine was there. Sparko was there. Blade was there. Had to think about that for a second. Hey, they, they don't know how to fly up. They're like dogs. They don't ever look up. <laughs> All right, no, man. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. 
I tell Null of the freighter and his recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it, if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happen differently, but there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Tell me more. Spinny Headphone Man, yes. Oh yes, Stationeer. Stationeer's on the list of things we need to do. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within universes, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Tell me of the Atlas. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it searching for anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something m must have been quite wrong. So it's not telling me much more. After a time, the Sentinels ended, ended their service to the Atlas. How do you know things? I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know, and you've seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I... I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking station and speak with them. I will translate. You don't need to translate. I can speak to them myself. Thank you very much. Yes, so this game is massive. As he said, 18 quintillion planets to visit. Um, there's a lot of randomization. Um, you're going to notice some themes in planets. Like you've got a volcanic world like this that are going to have some similar elements to them. Um... There are, I'm going to guess, a dozen different types of worlds. I don't know for sure. Um, there are tons and tons of different varieties of ships to, to play with. There's multiplayer, if you're interested in that. I'm detected? What? They looked up! How dare they? Alright. Um, I need to refill my... No, I don't need to refill my heat thing. Um, I need to go to a Viking station. Um, there's resource gathering, there's crafting, there's base building, farming, learning, learning about things that have happened in this universe. Oh shit, <laughs> I forgot to let those sentinels forget about me first. Hostile ships in range, you say? Explosive drones? What's that? Ah! Consumable frigate upgrade. Neat. I've never actually done significant amount of combat in space with the, um, the Sentinels. So I'm a little curious. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Ah, 
So you can actually get quite a bit of frigate stuff from here. Alright, I'm curious how bad are these guys going to be. I need to get out, get out of the asteroids a little bit. Can we get it? Oh, hi. You came and got it. Oh, God. They came and got it. Ah, I don't like that you have to find the floating cargo things. So difficult. Level 3, what about level 4? Is it going to be more of the same or are we going to get something different? Come on, guys. God, there's so many of them. Hi, Fleet. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Where, where, there he is. Great. So far, so good. We're on level five now. So it, it appears to be just larger and larger waves of the same dudes out in space. Um, unfortunately, they're a little bit harder to get to. Or, sorry, get away from in space. Oh, hi, hello, welcome, ha, oh boy, um, hello. <laughs> he, he, he zoop hard, he zoop hard straight into me. That escalated very fucking quickly. Oh, dear God. All right, well, um, screenshot. <laughs> so the question is, how am I going to fight this thing? How, how am I, how am I going to do that? news is it's not very great at close up
I'm, I'm doing a strafing run. Kitten, not the time. I'm busy. Hmm. Aha! There's thingies down here. Okay, those are its cargoes. Can I can I get a wider shot of this thing? I might I might have to I might have to fly away. Hang on, let's fly away a little bit. So what am I what am I doing with this thing now? Wait, hold on. There's there's another defense turret marked. Ah, hiding under there. Okay. Uh, it very much has an Eve Apocalypse kind of feel to it, doesn't it? Um, you can actually get one of these. Um, different coloring, but uh, you can get one of these as one of the capital size freighters. Popping thrusters. Maybe if I can squeeze my way through here. Thrusters don't appear to have a thing that I can do. I don't think they really thought too much ahead of people actually surviving an encounter with this thing. What about you? What are you? You're a glowy thing that doesn't do anything. I think it's dead. I 
think it's dead. I killed it. Bah, humbug. The carrier can be weapon disabled but not fully destroyed. Boo! Boo, bah, humbug. Boo. Oh well. I was curious what would happen if you got to level 5. It was a hell of a surprise and uh, gave me a bit of a run for my money. I'll take it. <laughs> now it should warp in two! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, what I got... Oh god, no. It's, it's warping in more. Oh god, it actually is warping in more. Oh god. No. This thing is much harder to aim. Alright, so what I got for my trouble was a little bit of, um, a little bit of Pugnium. Not terribly much. We got eight explosive drones and four mind control devices. And then we got some uh, platinum and ionized cobalt from the underbelly storage boxes. At least I'm pretty sure that's all I got. Some of that... Um, some of that pugnium and some of the uh, chromatic metal may have come from the underbelly as well, but I don't know for sure. Oh, did I get some nanites too? I didn't even notice. Well, I... I Hmm, I kind of wish there was a way to destroy it, or at the very least some way to to mark the end of the encounter. Other than the fact that nothing's happening. Because we're still stuck at 5 star, I don't know for sure if I'm going to be able to warp away and survive after that. But, it's fine. So I need to go to... I need to go back to the anomaly, supposedly. And I need to go to a Viking station. Well, it's technically an AI ship. It's a robot. So the fact that it's gunless and doesn't have any drones um, on its fighter carrier deck or anything like that, it's just going to sit there floating in space doing nothing until, you know, whatever repair methods are. Alright, so... Back to... Hyong. Oh, son of a... Hang on. This is my fleet. If I can get a little bit closer to that. There we go. Shame the asteroids popped in. It's gonna get a better screenshot than that. Ball. Ball and... Ball and dice. Ball and dice. Great! Hi! Hello! Welcome! Welcome to the party! Nice to meet you. Ooh! Bounced! Bounced!
I was kind of not expecting that, actually. I got a little bit surprised. Where'd he go? 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 There he is. What are you what are you doing out there, buddy? Huh. He gone. Deadified. Yeah, these are all deadified. Okay. Oh, not that one. Fuck off. Alright. Well, another one down. Unfortunately, we have a dude out there who's decided he's gonna be gone for a little while. That's probably the same thing that happened before. Was, um, out of nowhere. One random dude showed up, like, five minutes later. I think that's the dude. He probably spawned from within here and is like bugged out to go way the fuck that way and then eventually comes back again. Um, so the dinky ship is all you get. Technically. This collection of ships right here is also my fleet. And these are significantly bigger. Uh, in fact, you can see how much bigger they are if I go to this one here, because it's damaged, I need to... Uh oh I am landing on it, and I'm getting out to repair it. So this is the extent that you can interact with other ships. Is the small... Uh oh Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. Hang on. No! Um... Um, and this one is a freighter that is a pretty sizable capital-sized ship. Um, but you can only land inside of it and then you can build inside of it. Um, you can technically tell it to fly places and it teleports there through the warp methods. Um, Ha! Ho! Hi! Hi guys! Hi guys! You're not gonna shoot me, are you? You are gonna shoot me, okay. Not could could you stop that? Please. Sir. 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 Oh, the flight control on this thing is horrible. Alright, are we done? We're not done.
Okay, there's still something. Who, who's who's shooting with what? Who's shooting? Who, who has shooting capabilities left? Ah, you. Okay. So. Hmm. Oi. Oi. No laser. Laser's bad. We done? You guys done? Everyone done. You guys done trying to shoot me? For the moment? Yeah, I can't shoot that guy. Okay. Let's not stick around long enough for another one of those to happen. I'm going inside. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so, five star wanted level is kind of scary. On on land, you get endless walkers, and in space, you get endless fucking dreadnoughts. My poor, my poor heart. My poor heart's racing a little bit. Hang on. Mission. Mission. Viking entities have long history. Conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Not awaits as if expecting me to ask something else. Um, how about the Viking? Viking hate the Gek, hate the Sentinels. Sentinels hate our home. Gek hate Corvax. Nada should be friends with Viking, yes? No, Nada does not think this way. Alright, so I can't then ask about Null? Nope. Okay. We only get one line of questioning. So yeah, I, I do believe that these quest lines really could do a little bit of work. A, a couple bugs here and there, and B, like, you have the option to learn more, but only once. I can ask him about the Viking. Missing friend has you do their business? Help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not follow instructions with your eyes not open. Tell me about the Viking yourself, sir. Big grumpy fellows. They do not like friendly little Gek. Perhaps they are wise. Like all beings, you will see their value if you get to know them. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba. Still doing Viking. So, I gotta go to a specific Viking station, according to Pine. Um, am I supposed to know which specific Viking station? That's a whole lot of, um, winged freighters. Whole lot of winged freighters. Okay. 
Oh, you found gold. Congrats. Now, please tell me my 5-star water rating is gone by the time I get back out here. Please tell me that's not stuck with me. Okay, good. Okay, good. It's gone. Whew. Okay. Okay. So let's check the galaxy map first and see if it will show me. It's the next one over. Okay. Well, that's that's fair. Next one over. Whoosh! Hey, looking for iron and found gold? Probably the best possible outcome, other than, you know, finding iron. Oof. Okay. So, station. Totally not showing off my shirt intentionally, I swear. P appreciate the link there. <laughs> Streamlabs.com slash twinmind slash march. Not exactly the uh, shortest URL, but it's not too bad. Okay, so we're speaking to a Viking cartographer. Um, obviously going to the wrong side of the station for this first. What was that? Ah, double-bladed ship. Crappy ship, crappy ship. Okay. <laughs> Give me the good stuff. Nope, she hasn't showed up. She hasn't showed up. She's most likely lost in VR. Uh, let's go talk to this dude. The one that usually has a mission in here. Uh, I think it's going to be this guy. No, not this guy. The other guy. The guy behind the... Uh, the guy behind the podium here. The warrior's nostrils flare in hope and expectation. They show me their personal data pad, revealing a set of highly detailed military plans. Interloper, Viking Alliance, or vile, pathetic, weep-minded Sentinel Allegiance. On one side of the battlefield stands the creature's own warrior race, and on the other, the robotic Sentinels. The warrior demands that I point to one side or the other. Well, obviously, we're going to side with the guy who's standing in front of me, ready to murder me if I say so. The warrior grunts, nodding enthusiastically. They mark our new friendship by handing me tribute. Thanks for your crappy module, sir. I shall steal your cubes on your desk. Okay. So this is a high-value system. Worth buying a bunch of shit. And I think that's it. Okay. Anything I want to sell here? I can sell the pearls. I have this extra log encryption key. Um, I got I I got six. I used five, even though there were only three things to read, because of the way that 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 quest was also slightly bugged. Um, I'm going to assume I don't need it again, and if I do, they will make me go get more. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to do a quick check to see if I can make anything of the stuff that I have in my pockets currently. Uh, let's see. That's a hard no. Great. Love it. Actually, how much... Oh, I, I need more of these. Oh, right. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, and then I have... Toxic Protection Module I can actually sell. Okay, that'll do. I'll sell off. Oop, right, gotta check this room. Ah, storage room. This room has stuff in it. I like stuff. Stuff's good. One of these that I went into that had like three or four sub rooms in it. Like it had this room and then it had like a door to another room and then like another room. And I think there was like three or four total rooms. And each one of them had stuff in them. Okay, so let's go back to one of these guys to sell my excess. Hello, sir. I don't remember which ship had the um, the fighter cockpit from Spengies. There's a lot of stolen stuff, homages, you know, whatever you want to call it in this game. Alright, cartographer man. Grah, honorable warrior against the blah blah blah. Viking battle with weapons and with spines. Join the fight. Um, probe Viking lore. The stubby looking one? Really? I didn't see that, but I wasn't paying that much attention. As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly the Viking's word rings clear in my ears. Grah, pathetic interloper, prying into Viking secrets. Cowardly spy, I should kill, Grah. But, traveler must be aided. Such is the command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words. Grah. Silly Viking. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grab missions. This dude's got an interesting face. I like your face, sir. Uh, raid a planetary harvester. Meh. Kill four sentinels. Can do. Scan five plants. Can do. Kill eleven creatures. Sure thing. How do I still not have these? Whatever. Alright. So. I'm actually going to call it here. We'll continue the missions next time. Prove honor to the Viking, we'll do that. Um, that's still in progress. I'm going to probably end up doing these myself uh, because I will explore the heck out of this system as well as previous systems that I have skipped past. This one, I still don't know where it is. Um, I'm probably going to have to just follow the chain on that and then figure out where it stops and then leave a teleport there so that we can come back whenever I do manage to find it. Because this might take dozens of warps. It might be five warps away. Who knows? No. Just no. 
hold middle mouse? Oh. Now it's closer. Neat. Neat. Well then, thanks. I wasn't aware that that was a thing. We will have to look at that later then. Gra. <laughs> Gra. It shall be available for next time then. Alrighty. Pine, Paige, thanks for hanging out. Demos, still there? You as well? Anyone who is still lurking out there, um, I am. I am well off of any reasonable streaming schedule. I don't know what the hell I'm playing next, or when, or why, or what, but Discord! We sh probably will do votes at some point. Until once I'm done with cycling through these two games. But yeah. Thank y'all for coming. And I, I am enjoying the merch shirt. Yes, indeed. I can't tiptoe that high. <laughs> merch is available if you want. But yeah, thank y'all for coming. Thanks for your subs and follows I might have missed. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!